What's up, freaks? Welcome to the Russian and the Freak Show episode number five. Yes, today's episode will be all about designing your environment for domination. Why you say that so weird? For domination. Because it's all about domination. The, if you, the, the Russian and the Freak Show, this is a show about how to maintain your equilibrium and function in this dysfunctional, fucked up world as a freak family in business and life so that you can transform your chaotic complexity into your own special normalcy. And this is episode number five, live on the Facebooks, the Instagrams, the Twitter twats, and all that other shit. Yeah, so we're going to be discussing how our house is divided into sections. But first of all, I wanted to find yeah, out Yeah, sections. From they lock me in a fucking cage is what they do. They call it sections. They call it designing your environment. They lock me in a fucking cage and they throw in some raw meat to me once in a while. If I'm lucky, they put the light switch on. That's what they're talking about, dividing it into sections. My ass. It's called <laughs> fucking cages. Cages. We should. But before we're going to start it, I wanted to know from you if you, if you have divided your house into sections some people follow the all well-known feng shui right and dividing the what? home and, what well yes into these these areas of what uh, the of, fuck are you talking about well we're not going to be talking about feng shui feng shui then what are but, you bringing up for why because i wanted to know you I heard that on like desperate housewives of yes. like of like rockland county or something yeah no but i know that people when they decide where's feng homes, shui what is Feng Shui? Well, it's an old Chinese uh, style of designing homes. So it's all about bringing the energy into the home. Well, how do you do but it? I don't know. And I don't know about this. But I wanted to know if you follow this or you have like your own crazy style like we have. And we're going to go into depths into showing you what we have done. So uh, it really worked for us. And uh, we're going to find out why we have Feng done it. Feng Shui, Feng Shui didn't work for me. Not for you, but we created That sounds like something you mix own. in with your rice when you're making like some stir fry or something. <laughs> but we created our own environment to dominate the life because as you know, the operate, to dominate the system, mind, body, and your business, it's all about having a good energy drawn into you and into the space where you live. So we have decided that we are going to do this and we've been doing this for quite some time. So this is our own peak freak division. Let's put it this way. Peak freak division. Division, again, cages and fucking brick walls that block, get blocked off. And then other ones, so we don't have this, there's a room just for the smelly socks, so I don't have to smell that shit. Because <laughs> my feet, one smells like roses, the other one smells like peaches, so we don't have to worry about that. But environments, let's talk about environments, your environment. Do you know that you're, you're, you are a product of your environment? You've heard it, but you don't realize how much you are. Like from way back when you were a, a fucking kid, your environment that you grew up in is what created who you are as an adult. And most of us are still in our brains, in our little small thinking brains, are still stuck as that little child in that environment in your fucked up childhood or maybe not ideal childhood, maybe not the lifestyle you want to have now. And that environment that you lived in created part of almost your DNA. You have your actual DNA. We've talked about this before, but you also had your social DNA, your social heredity that was created from your environment that your parents and your teachers and school and your neighborhood all built into your fucking bones and in your blood and mostly importantly, your freaking brain. And unless you change your environment and evolve your environment, you're going to be stuck in that uh, little fucking person all the time. That little mental midget person stuck in poor me Boo fucking who, it's, life is so hard, it's miserable, I'm not meant for big things, and all this other shit. Change your environment. You have the ability, literally, to change your environment, and it'll change your fucking, the way, the, the way your mind, the way you think. And it can evolve. The way your environment is now, you can change it literally today. Just follow some of the things that we're going to talk about here today. And once you change your environment, that's going to help you change your habits automatically. We're going to get into the details of that in a little bit. But it's all about changing your environment to change the way you're thinking to change your habit to set triggers and and ever will get to that a little more in a second but this all started years ago when we had our gyms in new york and i my office was in there because i was doing literally when we first opened up the first gym i was literally not even joking working 18 hours i was in that place minimum 18 hours a day like no fucking joke seven days a week 
all the time doing everything from there from scrubbing the fucking toilets to marketing to sales to training every single session, coaching every single client because we made a bright decision to open up a business and then have have some little monsters like shortly after. So literally we had to deal with that. So I was li- doing it all by myself while she was taking care of little little monster number one. And he even grew up in the gym too, but it started there. So we had our offices in the gym. Everything was done in the gym. Upgrade locations, moved to new location. The office was still in the gym. And here's the way a day would look like in the gym. And this is a, tr- a true story how it happened. That I'd be in there working, trying to write up some email or create a marketing campaign that's going to make us, I don't know, 15, 20, 25, $30,000 that we're, we're looking to pay the bills because we had at times over a freaking $30,000 just payroll, just payroll over $30,000 a month. Leave it on top of that, rents that were $15,000, then of course, you know, utilities, insurance, all that other shit, marketing, that's not even getting into marketing, actual marketing to actually grow the business. That's just to sustain at a baseline level. So I'd be in the office doing the office work in between the hours of training. I'd sneak in an hour in the office. I'd be sitting there focused. All right, this is my time to get shit done. And I'm sitting there, tap, 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 then door knocks. Okay, let me open it. What is it? And it, it's a, whatever, an employee that says, hey, the heat was on and it's a little hot out here. Can I turn down the heat? Sure, go ahead. Get back to work and you're like, what was I on? And you know, once you get distracted, it takes you a certain amount of time to get back into that flow, into that state that you're in. Now you're thinking about the heat. Fuck the bills. Did I pay the bill? Now I'm looking over, see if we paid the heat bill. Why, why is he bringing it up? Maybe the heat was too much that and I'm starting to get distracted from what I was fucking doing. Finally, 15 minutes later, I'm back to what I was doing. Finally in the mode, I'm flowing, banging away the keyboard. And I bang like motherfucking Donkey Kong knocking down buildings in, in New York City or whoever did that. Maybe that was Godzilla. I don't know. Who the fuck was going through New York City? I don't know. Someone smashed the buildings. Anyway, I'm smashing away. I'm in a flow, writing fucking some, some miracle shit that's going to be the next big hit in the gym. It's going to dig us out of the hole that we're in, make us some money, pay everyone's salaries, feed the families of all the employees. And right as I'm starting to get into a deep level of work, tap, 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 tap on the door. Take a big, deep breath before I, I whatever it goes south real quick. Open the door and it's a another employee or maybe the, actually the same one, I think. <laughs> Hand me a dollar bill. I'm like, this is not a fucking strip show. And I, I, it better be a, a bunch of those coming behind to be to getting a distraction like this. And it was a dollar for someone that bought a bottle of water. A single bottle of water for a dollar came and handed me a dollar bill. So I'm distracted again. Now, f- 10, 15 minutes to go back out. Then I have to go put that on a spreadsheet. Okay, this money came, whatever, whatever, whatever. All this stuff. Thinking, now my fucking marketing campaign's all fucked up. Now I have a client that's come and came in early for their session. I got to start now getting ready for my next session. I gotta start, and, and I didn't even finish this campaign. It gets pushed back. I have deadlines. I have time to get it started. And it's not even done because I'm looking up heat bills. I'm accepting a dollar bill, a single dollar bill to put off this campaign that's gonna basically keep the place in business for the rest of the month. At that moment, literally closed the door, called up a place down the road uh, and rented a truck and that day moved all the shit from that office into my into our house in New York. The desks, file cabinets, computers, printers, scanners, all that, all that shit. And created a home office said, I'm not going to be able to grow this business in here. And that's what kind of started the different segments, different areas uh, around the house. And it started with that home office. All right, this is the home office. This is where work shit gets done and nothing else. That's what it's for right here. Yes, and this is a perfect example. Some of you might relate to it, actually. It might trigger something in your brain right now, like, wow, I've been doing the same. Maybe you need to change, really, the environment and change the offices. Because I remember this day, like today, we moved everything and the whole really focus has changed for us and it was absolutely amazing so in uh, we started the whole trend in Cal- in new york and then when we moved to california we continue but like on a bigger scale now so uh, what what i suggest you guys to first of all name this section of your house condo wherever you are apartment name them that's what we did First of all, right? We we named them, right? So go ahead and start on. Yeah, the, we named them yellow. Yes, we named them yellow. And pay a know, fucking attention. And start, start. Go ahead. Holy shit! <laughs> anyway, we named them each. So now here in California, every single room, every and and sometimes if you don't only have a large uh, house where it's and it's a big room or whatever, and you need to do separate a room. 
Name each corner of your fucking room if you have to. This is where work gets done. This is where this gets done. Give each thing a name. It, it will help trigger when you're in that room, like that name. We have different names for every room. Obviously, the office is where work gets done. Here's my office right now. This is where work gets done, where recordings get done. We record shows. We have the lights, the microphones, all that stuff. Nothing but work gets done in here. If we're out in a different area of the house and someone wants to talk business, if Tyson has this business proposal that he wants to go, has some like idea, he wants to do some marketing campaign that's going to cost like $15,000, $20,000 because the little fuckers come up with all kinds of ideas. I'm like, listen, we're not going to talk about this here. Let's let's go up into the office and talk about it. We'll come here. We're not going to talk business at the dinner table. We're not going to talk business in the living room. You talk business and work in the fucking office. That's it. It can't spread out because then it starts spreading out. And and. Obviously, we're not fucking perfect. It happens all the time. Shit happened last night. We start, you start getting into a conversation. Business comes up, money comes up. And then all of a sudden, you have to cut it off. You have to cut off and say, you know what? We shouldn't be talking about this now. Let's set a time to go into the office either now or we'll put it on the schedule and we'll finish this, this, this meeting, this conversation, whatever. Because the kids don't need to be disturbed by that. Like when it's, you're, you're supposed to be spending time with your kids and you're talking about money and, and all this other shit and banks and, and businesses and, and taxes and all this other shit. They don't need to hear that. Or marketing campaigns, expenses, 